It's a tough time for England because they picked up a lot of injuries, um, you know, a lot to the front row, obviously to Alangi and Burrell in that centre partnership. Um, Parling, Croft, all, all missing through England injuries, so that doesn't make life easy for Stuart. But, you know, he won't ever complain about that. He's built a good strength and depth. Um, through injuries in previous competitions, he's been able to bring in the likes of Billy Dwell, for instance, you know. So, um, you yeah, know, the concern is the guys that he's given an opportunity maybe in the summer tour like uh, Carl Eastman who was one of my favourites going into that tour to get a game and think I really want to see this guy deliver um, he struggled defensively so will Stuart will that have knocked Stuart's confidence in him um, and you know do you go to Billy Twelftridge do you go to Brad Barrett um, do you look at Watson who's obviously come in from uh, from the wider squad um, there's, there's a number of, of conundrums for, for Stuart to deal with I think at fly half, as always, it's going to be really good to get to try and get some of the other lads an opportunity to play. I know George had a short bit of time at the Six Nations at the end of last season, um, then had a shoulder operation, George Ford, that is. So it'll be good to see um, him get a bit of game time during this autumn, you know, which is a big, a big period for Stuart and his team. We need to take a win out of this competition or, or the Six Nations, really, if, if we're going to go in with confidence to World Cup. You can't argue with the stats. Rocco Daguni has been the top for meters made, tacklers beaten, um, and everything. So, you know, his inclusion is a good one. And you think that he's he's been to war not long ago as well for this country. You know, there's always a, the debate over um, the foreign players and everything like that. But I think when uh, you know when he's fought in the military, I, th I think you know he he's earned his right more than anyone else. But um, it's an exciting time. You know, will he get an opportunity in this autumn series? I think he probably deserves one. Um, you know, it'll be good to see. When you look at the guys like Johnny May, Jack Knoll, uh, Matt Kovacic, George Ford that have come through, you know, uh, Jonathan Joseph, Vuna Pola, um, they've all had an opportunity in, uh, in the LV Cup. It shows them that if you're given the chance and you do well enough in the LV Cup, then it's going to lead on to bigger and better, whether that's more games for your, for your club in the Premiership, whether that's moving on to the recognition of, of international sides. So um, I think it should be seen as an exciting competition for those young lads who really want to impress.